be on the box. So Cupid came to visit. So what does that mean? What's today? Valentine's Day. Do you know what holiday Valentine's Day is? The holiday of what? Love. Yes, love. love. Hug. And hugs. Yes, absolutely. And what else? Hearts. Hearts and kisses, right? Okay, well, Cupid decided he was going to bring you something that can be a gift every time you open it. How's that for what Cupid brought them? Alright, so let's see. Each of you should take a side. Open up your wrapping. What do you think about this wrapping, by the way? It's beautiful. I want to keep it. Yeah? It would be like an animal map. Yeah. 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 Tsunami. Who taught us about tsunamis? The 
lobster biome. Yeah. All right, where else you got? Okay, sit down for just Patty, we'll show this one. What is this one? Oh my god! It's a dinosaur book. It's dinosaur books. Yeah, you tried the books. I'll Who would I draw? I didn't have two books. These here. are for older learners, but older readers rather. But we're gonna read them with them. And it says so you think you know about Stegosaurus. And also in there is Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus Rex. I and have to So let's see, the first page says, What are feelings? Feelings are what we all feel inside our bodies and brains when good or bad things happen to us. Can you guess how many, how these animals are feeling? How do feelings happen? Angry. Oh, okay, go ahead. You want to do that one? Angry. Yes, I'm very angry. How do you know that he was angry? Oh, his face. Good job. It says, leave me alone. All right, to be continued. What you got to do? It says scurvy dogs. All right, one sec. You're going to read on camera? Come over here. Let's go to the first oh, page. Hold on. The pages. No, just one page, and then we'll do another page in our time. So what does it say there? Uh-huh. Wait right here. One hot. So I don't think no, no, you gotta do the same thing. You gotta do first page. Go ahead. One hot. One hot. Summer day. Mm -hmm. Skip some things. Let me see. One hot summer day. Four dogs were outside playing in a waiting pool. Splish, splash. What about here? What does it say? Way out in the open sea, it's a ship. All right, we gotta find out what that story is about. Scurvy dog. What you got, Chloe? Why do things die? Why do things die? This one's a very important book. Lift the flap, first questions and answers. Let's see what the first page says. Why do things die? All living things die as part of life's nat natural pattern. They have a beginning to their life and an end. And then it says, how do animals begin life? Is a tree living thing? Will Teddy die? Where do things die? How do plants begin life? How this flower dies? Is this stone alive? Why can't my pet beetle live forever? And so we would put, which one do you want to We'll flip one. Okay, you'll get to flip one too. Okay, one second. And it says, so what was this one? Will my teddy die? No, teddies aren't living things, so they can't die. If they get scruffy and torn, you can normally patch them up again. Thanks, Dad. All right, which one do you want to read, Callie? You gotta flip one, Callie. We'll just choose one more for you. Which one? Okay, why can't my pet beetle live forever? <clears throat> because gradually its body will stop working. But it can live on through its family and your memories. <sighs> Pally has Hotel Flamingo. Okay, one second, Callie, don't jump. Don't jump, jump, jump. So this one says, the, hunt, the sunniest hotel in town. Anna DuPont stepped out of the Tel Flamingo was not a pretty sight and was quite unlike the photo in her hands. It, its walls were gray and peeling, its windows were cracked, and the revolving door had spun its last. You have, oh, another scurvy one. I thought you guys might like this one, huh? No, actually, you guys should put this on your wish list. Scurvy dogs and the dinosaur bone yard. Looks like your mask, CD Lynn got you, huh? Yeah, called the boy you cried wolf. Okay, one second, Callie. Chapter one. On a deserted island somewhere in an uncharted ocean, four scurvy dogs searched for buried treasure. Okay, I'm gonna go into Chloe's. 
Little coloring. Dinosaur, it's the coloring book for you. Oh yeah, today really? So it says us born little coloring dinosaur. You know what's great about our coloring books? We also have words. So you're reading as you're coloring. A towering alamos alamosaurus. A, a swooping, swooping pterodon. Pterodon. Kelly, check out these dinosaurs. We don't know about these dinosaurs. Alamosaurus. Pterod pteranodon. A noisy parasaurolophus and a pointy plated, oh this one we know, Stegosaurus! So you guys are going to get to color these. A powerful Tyrannosaurus Rex. Uh, what else do you call a Tyrannosaurus Rex? I love my What else do you guys call Tyrannosaurus Rex? T-Rex. Alright. This is Little Coloring Under the Sea. I can do one book at a time, Munchkin. I'm just so energetic. I know, I know you're energetic, but you gotta give me. I only have two hands. A dolphin diving. You guys aren't even looking. Look, a fish swimming. Look at these beautiful things you're gonna be able to color. All right, let's go to the first page so we get people interested. Based on a story by Asa. All right, what does it say, Callie? It's this story with Mm hmm. And maybe a wolf. And maybe a wolf. Oh, you want to take the next one? What does it say here? Right here. They live in the little village mountains. In the mountains. All right. So people got to stay tuned if they want to know more, right? Maybe we can schedule a book a day for us to read. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Stay tuned for the little boy who cried wolf. All right. So let's look at these. Stained glass books that Chloe got. Cry. Yeah, make sure you cry. So this one is Mermaid. We already did dinosaurs and what? I want to do this now. What was the other one we did? We did dinosaurs and Man. No. Man. 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 unicorns. So this is. So for, we found out for us when we put them on our windows that the ones ones that look the best or last is the longest rather was the ones colored in oil pastels. The crayons faded, markers faded, paint was a disaster, right? Oil pastels have lasted on our windows for months. So it says use um, felt tip pens, pencils, or crayons. But we found all of those, the sun faded. Oil pastels last what? the longest. But we only found a brown oil pastel. We'll have to our order some more. Our crayons even work. Well, not really. They fade to the crayons. Well, how do you they, know? Because the, they're the ones that have crayons and all the other ones are all faded. You can barely tell what the colors are anymore. Stained glass animals is another new one. So we have dinosaurs and unicorns on our window. We're going to have to add these animals. Oh, and Mermaid. Yes, we have the I big can window. I take all the other pictures we in the window. We have the big window. We can put it all in the big window. I can take a picture. Of, I can take a picture of the big window because there's so many. Yeah, but those are the little windows. You have that big window to fill. We can just fill up the big window. This one is wipe clean, telling the time on an analog clock versus digital. Right? We want you guys to learn analog. Look, he's going to eat that. Oh my gosh, he's going to eat the clock. And it mean? says something old clock. When the big hand points to 12, the time is something old clock. On Spud's clock below, the hand points to 12 and the little hand points to 8. So the time is 8 o'clock. So if this is 8 o'clock, what is this? And this one? And this one? 12 o'clock. Very good. This one says, love from Alfie Mc McPoonst, the best dog ever. Fireworks on Valentine's Day. Love from Alfie McPoonst, the best dog ever. We had fireworks from April. September and we now have fireworks 
on Valentine's Day in February. <laughs> to Izzy, the dog bed, the family room, Izzy's house, near the little park. From Alfie McPunst, McPunst, the nicest cloud, dog heaven, the sky. Dear Izzy, I'm a sky dog now. I live in dog heaven because I died. How do you die? I miss you lots, but it's brilliant here. There are hundreds of parks, thousands of sticks, and a million trillion dog treats. No cats bully me. I get to scare big wolves and chase postmen. I never need to have a bath. There are no poodle parlors in dog heaven. And the big dogs love my good boy shake a paw trick. Love, Alfie McPoon. Yes, I still what miss you loads though. What is it? That's his doggy. That's a dog in heaven. Is that here? I think so. Yeah, I think he's showing him all the good time he's having in heaven. Dear Izzy, I get all my favorite meals here. <clears throat> there are actual burger stands. Why are you crying? Sorry, Chloe. And ice cream trucks for dogs. It's maybe because you miss. This is going to remind you. Of and I'm allowed there. to eat cow pies, love, a McPoons. All right, guys, let's go to the next book. Okay. Olivia Secret Scribbles. My new best friend. Ooh, let's see what this is about, Chloe. <gasps> Olivia's book of private secrets. Do not open, go away. This means you, Max, and mainly you, Ella. Oh, <gasps> really mean. Oh, let's see. It says, moving day Thursday. This is the very first page of my special private secret book. And guess where I am writing it? In my super amazing new bedroom. A new room is upstairs in the attic. What's a secret book? A, a book you can never ever enter. Yeah, what's it called? Do you remember the name? Of a book that you can write in that's a secret oh, book? Oh, there we are. Secret yeah, but do you remember the book? A diary. A diary. Yeah. Like the one Theo Max gave you. With the lock and key. Yeah. Okay, let's see. This one says, Billy Brown and the missing tooth. Who just lost a tooth? Who just lost one? Callie. And you lost? How many have you lost, Chloe? Four. How many have you lost, Callie? Four. No. Three. Three. Chapter one. Billy B. Brown has two messy pigtails. Sounds like two girls, I know. 15 freckles. Okay, you guys don't have freckles. And one wobbly tooth. You guys had wobbly teeth. This one says, The Midnight Owl. Lily the Owl. You like the mammoth? Yeah, we should look at the mammoth book and see it. It hey, says, that one. We didn't read the first page of the map. We just put it back. We should look at it. Chapter one. Lily lives with her dad in a tiny elf house hidden under a bridge in a busy city. I'll give you one more. In the moss garden behind the house, there is an even tinier house called a granny flat. And in the granny flat lives Lily's granny. Who's your granny? My mom and who else is mom? Abuela, daddy's mom. Okay, it is midnight and dad is snoring. How do you snore? <laughs> but Lily is wide awake. An owl is hooting. How do you hoot? Lily shivers with each hoot. Who's 
a week. Woo! Woo! Lily covers her ears with her pillow. To be continued. Alright, where's your wooden mouth book? Let's see. We didn't read the first page, did we? Uh oh, we dropped some books. The Curious Case of the Missing Mammoth, packed with facts and flaps. Oh, look at that. What's that? You think that's what that is? Okay, and what's that? Mammoth. Uh huh. I am a mammoth. Yeah, your stuffy is a mammoth. Uh, but I have bigger paws. How would you describe that mammoth? Well, he's purple. Uh huh. And how old? And orange. Uh huh. And he has um, small like paws. And how does he feel? Soft. Soft. And a little <laughs> soft on his It says bong. The town clock struck midnight. Oscar jumped away. He could hear strange stomping noises in the street. And the poster says, Roar! Like a dinosaur. How do you roar? Roar! How do you roar, Chloe? Roar! So, Oscar out, he saw a huge, hairy... Should we see what he saw? What do you think? Or save it for another day? No, let's see it. Okay, no. okay, we'll see it. We'll see it. What did he see? Woolly mammoth! Wow! Gasp, Oscar. I'm Timothy. Tooted the mammoth. There's his my, name. His my, name is Timothy. But you have two friends, Timothy. Yeah, you have two Timothys. Have what? you seen you my. Timothy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Look, it says. Wait, wait. Let me finish. It says, I'm Timothy. Tooted the mammoth. Have you seen my baby brother? He's a big... shook his head. So what do you think? Do you guys have Timothy and his baby brother? Do you have two Timothys? Baby brother, because it looks nothing like Timothy. Oh, and it says crash, bang, wallop. A thunderous thing came from behind the trash can. <gasps> this is his baby and brother. And it says Teddy, come back here. Fight to me. Timothy, quick, catch him. The baby man zoomed off towards the museum. Timothy and Oscar ran after him. So you guys have who? Uh, Teddy. Teddy. Your mom is called Teddy. 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 No, Teddy. No, not, not Timothy. Teddy. They're both Teddy. They're the missing man of Teddy. Teddy and Timothy. No, you're not. No, Timothy is the Teddy brother. Teddy and Chloe have Teddy and I have Teddy. Oh. Okay, you can have Timothy. But we'll continue. Oop, we'll continue this story another day. What's another book, girl? Oh, Bibi B. Brown and Hey Jack. There's no Jack book in there. Oh crap! We did flamingo hotel. Oh crap! I thought it got a Jack book. Okay. There's no Jack book. Did we take out a Jack book not knowing? Look to see if there's a Jack book. I think there was a Jack book. Are you sure? Chapter one. Billy and Jack are best friends. They live next door to each other. And in class, they sit next to each other. At recess, they play together. One more page. Billy and Jack do everything together. If Billy swings on the monkey bars, Jack swings too. If Jack wants to play soccer, Billy will play soccer too. It's good to have a best friend, isn't it? Yep. Yeah, Who's your best friend? Sally's your best friend. And so are oh, you. Me. And mommy. And daddy. And daddy. What? Baby animals. Us born young beginners. Mm -hmm. Go see if there's a jackpot. There should be a jackpot. I'm surprised. Maybe it was back order. Most, do you remember what um, a group of rabbits, what they're called? A colony. Very good. Okay, this one says under the sea. Kind of beautiful. It says living underwater. Many amazing creatures live under sea. Some seas are warm and some are cold. Some seas, what, um, sorry. They can be deep, but some are shallow. These bright fish, Live in shallow sea. Oh, there'll be two. Oh, dolphins! 
Dolphins live in warm water, in warm and cold seas. They have smooth bodies, which help them to swim very fast. Dolphins breathe through a hole on the top of their head. It is called a... Snout! Okay. Snout. Or a blowhole. If a dolphin is sick, and, and, and other dolphins take care of it. Very good breathing, Callie. A dolphin swims to the surface, it breathes out air, water sprays up, it breathes in and dives under. And like Callie said, if a dolphin is sick, other dolphins take care of it. A mother dolphin with two babies, like you guys, a mother dolphin shows her baby how to breathe. She teaches it how to look for food. Right, to be continued. So what do you guys say about your channel? Please subscribe and, and share and, and subscribe. And have a double like and, and another and subscribe and another hit the bell. What? what? The bell. Hit the what? Bell. What bell? Where do they find the bell? Where do they find the bell, Callie? Ding ding. Where do they find the bell, Chloe? At the, at the top of the screen. At the top of the screen? At, or at the bottom. At the bottom of the screen. All right, so what do you say? Do you guys say goodnight to everyone? What do you say? Good night! And happy Valentine's Day! Yes, happy Valentine's Day!